Uh, something that most people don't know about me is how uh, Phase 10 was originally created and produced in my parents' basement uh, in Detroit. We assembled uh, thousands of games and shipped them to Kmart for retail uh, sales. I became a game developer at the age of 12, creating my first game that was played by myself and my siblings until uh, I was about 19. Then I decided to try to market that game and eventually got that game into Kmart uh, nationwide. So that got me into the business of producing games and my next game was Phase 10. The first version of the game looked quite different than that version today that's available because of different graphic designs uh, for the logo or the back of the card. The gameplay is the same as it was 40 years ago. Over the years, we've updated and changed the graphics. What I changed after testing the game was the special cards that I initially thought I would add to the game. I had special cards such as reverse cards and things like that, but I discovered in testing that they prolonged the game and made it a little more difficult to comprehend for some people some of the various special cards I had. So I eliminated all those cards and went with just two special cards, wild cards and skip cards. So I made it very simple and easy to play and doing it that way, it made it uh, more appealing to more people. I designed the first cards. Of course, they were rough drawings, basically using cardboard and crayons, sketched out the original graphics and went to a graphic designer to do the production version of the, of the cards. It went very well. I went with the original design I sketched out and uh, it turned out to be successful. I take 10 to play phase 10 whenever I have downtime. Uh, even during commercial breaks when I'm watching TV or I'm watching sports, I play phase 10. I do if I'm waiting anywhere, I'll pull out my phone and play phase 10. I mean, it's my favorite pastime when I've got uh, some spare time or a pause in whatever it is I'm doing. The surprising change in Phase 10 Mobile that really mixes up the way the game is played are the events, the monthly events. They're great, they add additional flavor, keep it fresh and exciting. Every month I'm looking forward to the new event that's been added. And so I think it's wonderful the way that works and keeps myself and others around the world engaged with the game. And of course the journey, the Phase 10 World Tour has the journey, which is terrific because it challenges you to continue to progress and move forward. I think Phase 10 Mobile captures the feeling of family game night in that it allows people to get together and play Phase 10 even though they're remote from one another. Now they can get together, play Phase 10, and enjoy that social environment of playing the game, although they might be in different parts of the world or parts of the country. Phase 10 Mobile being downloaded as much as it has, has impacted people in that it gives them the same pleasure it gives me. It allows them to engage in the game, the challenge, the thrill of playing the game, and again, it brings other people together socially when they play Phase 10 against one another. Where I see Phase 10 going in the future is world domination. I'm hoping Phase 10 will continue to grow in its popularity, both the physical game and the mobile app. That's what we're pushing for, and I think it has that potential to rise to the top. Oh, I think what families can expect in the future for Phase 10 is we will continue to iterate new modes or methods of playing Phase 10 World Tour. The event will continue to add to the game. Every 30 days, there are new events that attract people, bring them into the game, keep them engaged, and allow them to try new ways of playing the game. So they can expect to continue to see the game evolve. And we get a lot of input from fans that we often take to heart in developing new ways of playing Phase 10. So that's what people can expect in the future. What I would like to say to all the fans of Phase 10 is I appreciate that you enjoy the game. I love hearing the stories of how Phase 10 has brought families together over the years. It's become a tradition in a lot of families. When they travel, uh, when they get together with their parents or grandparents, they have memories of playing over many years of Phase 10 together. And it's just so exciting to me to know that it has brought this kind of joy 
and memories, uh, family time together uh, for families around the world. That's really thrilling to me and that's what I enjoy the most and I'm happy that it does that.